from the homework. This is kind of a tricky one. So we've got this uh, 1.2 millimeter diameter glass optical fiber that's inserted into the artery of a patient. And so the index of refraction of the surrounding blood is 1.37. And light from inside the artery is incident on the flat face of the fiber. So we have to figure out what this angle theta zero is. So we've got this artery here. And then we've got some light. Let this make the optical axis. And then the light is coming in like this at some angle theta zero. And I'm just gonna solve this one out on the, we solved it in class, uh, on the board, um, but I'm just gonna go through and explain this step by step. So what we need to understand is that the light is gonna come from the blood into the optical fiber, and then it's gonna refract. And it's gonna refract at such an angle that it's gonna to totally internally re reflect. And so it's gonna hit this, this thing here, and there's gonna be some angle, theta critical. When it hits this angle, it's gonna, reflect instead of refracting out through the, through the surface. The, the total light ray, none of it's gonna leave this optical fiber. And we have to figure out what this angle is. But the index of refraction of the blood and the glass is not the same. So these two lines are not exactly the same angle. So let's redraw this. So the light ray comes in here at some angle. And then it's gonna bend inwards towards this axis at a different, a slightly different angle. So let me make this a different color to denote that these are not the same angles. So theta zero is not equal to this other angle here. We'll call this angle a new angle Phi. So the first thing that we can do is we can actually solve for um, this angle here. We know this is a right triangle, so that's going to be helpful. What's the angle that this theta critical happens at? We have a formula for that. So theta critical it's given in your text as arc sine of N1, N2 over N1. N2 over N1. And in the problem, we're given that N2 is 1.37 and N1 is 1.5. Okay, so then we can figure out what theta critical is from that by taking the arc sine, and we get that it's 65.97 degrees. So now we've found this angle. The angle that we're ultimately trying to solve for is this incident angle here. So this basically has turned into a geometry problem at this point. Um, with the understanding that the total refractive process is the light comes in, refracts from the blood to the glass, then reflects completely and internally through the optical fiber, and it's carried away that way. How is that actually useful? It's useful because if we need to illuminate some region in the body that needs to be seen by a, a doctor, that's one way to do it. Um, there's other purposes for it as well, but it's basically a way to guide and direct light rays to certain locations where they wouldn't otherwise go with this 
with this fiber optic cable. Okay, so we've got theta critical, but then we've got this interesting relationship here. We, we know that the total angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So we've got a 90 degree triangle here. So theta critical plus this angle phi plus 90 equals 180. So we can subtract 90 from this. And then we have theta critical plus phi is then equal to 90. Next, we can solve for that phi angle. So we know theta critical is 65. 0.97 plus phi equals 90. Okay. So now we have our angle phi. So phi is 24.03 degrees. We still have this angle that we need to solve for. I'll put it in pink. So what's the final step to solving this last thing? Well, we, we already talked about it being a two-step process. The two-step process is the light comes in and refracts from the blood to the glass, and then it totally internally reflects. So we have to do step one. We actually had to work our way backwards and we did step two here, but now there's step one. So step one is simply Snell's law. We've got N1 sine theta one equals N2 sine theta two. So we have N1 sine of theta one equals N2 sine of theta two. And then we know what uh, sine of theta two is it's this angle here, this phi angle. So we've got 1.37, because that's the uh, index of refraction of the blood, sine of theta one equals 1.5 sine of 24.03. So we just divide this by 1.37. And then we have sine of theta. And theta 1 is really theta 0. Sine of theta 0 is equal to this. So we just do arc sine. So arc sine of both of these expressions gives us the answer. And when we take the arc sine of that, we get that angle of 26.5 degrees. Or 0, 0.5 degrees, I think. Is it? No, no, 26.5. Okay. So 26.5 degrees. And that's our incident angle that we solve for. Yes. Uh, no, it's, it's not a mirror. It's actually um, totally internally reflected because of that situation where we have Snell's law, where N1 sine theta one equals N2 sine theta two. For a certain critical angle, there is no solution to that, to that expression. And they talk about that in the book a little bit. It becomes like, it, once it's greater than some value. So what that means is there's an angle physically where if it comes in at that, at that given angle, so if it comes in at this special angle here, it's gonna, it's gonna refract a little bit and then it's gonna hit and impinge on this surface. And so the thing to, the thing to keep in mind is there's actually, that's actually a good question. So the thing at this point here, it's, this is not like reflection from a mirror. This is like refraction trying to happen. And in this case, we could write a Snell's law for this one too. 
it would be the opposite of this. Because what's happening is the light ray is trying to refract from the glass back out to the blood, but it can't because of that critical angle. So rather than like impinging on a mirror, this is really just another refractive process. We could write a, a, a Snell's law for this and it would be N1 would be 1.5 sine of theta critical because that's the angle. And then if it could get out, it would, it would bend even more outwards towards this way, but it can't refract out because it's at that critical angle. And then N2 then would be 1.37 sine of theta two. But this doesn't happen because it can't, it's at that critical angle, which we solved for using this expression. And that, get, yes. Yes. Yeah, you could change this angle, this incident angle, such that the light ray could could refract out of there. Yes, exactly. So that's what kind of makes it, that's what kind of makes this an interesting problem worth solving for is because we want to choose light rays or angle our light source such that we know that the light won't refract out again. When, we, when it comes incident, it goes in and refracts in, but it can't refract out because of that critical angle. That's, that's exactly right. That's what's going on here. Okay, so does that make sense to everybody? Any questions about this problem? Any more questions? Yes. It's given to you in the problem. The index of refraction of the glass is 1.5 and the index of refraction of the blood is 1.37. Okay, so when you're doing these index of refraction problems, the, the point, the medium, the index of refraction where the light ray starts with, that's medium one. So for this, for this example, the light ray starts in blood. So we, N1 is gonna be the index of refraction for blood. Sine theta one is gonna be this theta zero because that's the angle it's coming in at when it's about to hit that surface. It hits the surface, refracts through, that's N2. And then the angle that it, that it refracts through the surface through is this phi angle in this case. Make sense? Okay, great. And so we can do a little sanity check here because it turns out that this angle is a little bit bigger, 26.5. Not by much, but it's a little bit bigger. And that, that's what we would expect to see because the index of refraction of glass is bigger than for blood. So we would expect to see more of uh, the optical axis. It bends towards the optical axis with the higher index of refraction. Make sense? Okay, great. And then for this example here, just to follow up on your question, if we were starting with a ray here, now we're starting with a ray where it's in this medium of glass, 1.5 is N1 in this case. It goes through and it would refract out of the surface if it was at not at the critical angle. And then that would be N2, N2 would be the blood in this case. Okay. Um, 